Alright, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to be giving you a basic tutorial on how to operate and drive one of these guys, which is your standard forklift. You're going to have these in all kinds of places like shop yards, warehouses, all kinds of places like that. And knowing how to drive one of these is really going to help you. So let's get into it. But before we get started, do me a huge favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's get into it. All right, guys, so before we really get into it, let's actually take a walk around this machine and look at what we've got here. So on the front of the machine, you have your forks here. These are what slide under the crates or the packages that you're picking up. Um, these have the ability to move up and down as well as side to side, and then also the angle can tilt forward and backwards. Those are the three controls that most standard forklifts have. Um, like most forklifts, it is a rear, uh, rear steering tire, so that allows for very, very tight turns. So when you steer, you're going to have these back tires turning rather than your front tires. Um, it has forward and reverse like most vehicles do. The back of the machine is going to be very, very heavy as a counterweight for whatever you're lifting. Right here on the back is the fuel tank. Um, a lot of these guys use different kinds of fuel like propane um, than your standard gasoline ones. Then obviously in the center you've got your standard, your seat, and your seat belt, which obviously most things have. You've got your rear view mirror, and then you've got spotlights for operating at night. Um, and then in here in the machine, you've got basic controls. So what do you got? You got your your hours, so that records how how many hours are on the machine, how old the machine is. It's like an odometer, but a little bit different. You got your switch here, which operates the uh, aforementioned spotlights up there. Right here, you've got your coolant gauge, me uh, measures the temperature of the engine. Oil pressure gauge measures the oil pressure in the engine. Your warning lights, so if something's jacked up, these lights are gonna come on. If they're not on, you're pretty much good to go. Right here next to the steering wheel, you've got your forward, neutral, and reverse. In order to start the machine, it has to be a neutral. Once you get on the machine, you can see you've got two brake pedals down here. So you can press one or both of these in order to stop the machine. Over here, you've got your gas pedal, pretty much like any other car. Right here, is your parking brake so towards you is on now it's off on and then off pretty simple then right here you've got your lever so so the lever closest to the steering wheel is going to control the arm going up and down the lever in the center is going to control the front of the arm going up and down like this and oh finally over here is going to control the tine sliding back and forth so now you have an idea on what they are let's actually fire this puppy up and see how to operate it all right guys let's start from the beginning so got my key super basic so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my foot on the brake, insert the key into the notch, look over here, make sure this guy is in neutral, not in forward or in reverse, but it is in neutral. Make sure there's nothing crazy, make sure my parking brake is on. Now I'm going to turn the key one click, and then I'm going to start the engine. Pretty basic. So what do I do now? Well, first of all, I'm gonna to wanna to put the parking brake off. So now the parking brake is in the off position. So. If I want to drive forward, all I'm going to do is click this in the forward position and push the gas pedal. And now I am moving forward. So pretty basic, pretty simple. So now what are we going to do? Well, now we need to control the lift arm. So what, do we, what I'm going to do, right now the engine is in idle. In order to control the lift arm, you're going to have to give a little bit of gas. So right now my vehicle is in drive. So I'm going to want to put this in neutral, reach down, put my foot on the gas pedal, and then using the lever closest to the steering wheel, I'm going to push on the gas a little bit. Pushing the lever down moves my control arm up. Pushing the lever up moves my control arm down. Now, you need to make sure that you are giving it some gas while you're doing this. So, now let's look at what that looks like from the outside. So next, what you're going to want to do if you want to tilt the arm forward, first of all, you're going to want to make sure the t teeth, the tines are not on the ground. So in order to do that, I'm going to lift the arm up a little bit. Now, now that my arm is lifted up a little bit and my vehicle is in neutral still, I'm going to grab my center lever. And while giving it a little bit of gas, I'm going to push it up, which tilts my entire control arm down, or pull it towards me, which tilts the whole arm up. So. Now that you have that idea, that is this center lever here, pushing it up or back while giving it gas. Let's look at what that looks like from the outside. All 
All right, guys, and finally, we're going to be able to move our control arm from left to right. So again, giving it a little bit of gas while making sure your machine is in neutral, you're going to simply push this forward, which moves it to the right, or backwards, which moves it to the left. Pretty simple, pretty basic, but let's look at what that looks like from the outside. All right guys, so now I've given you the basic controls here. So now let's finally do one last overlook on how to actually put this in drive and drive it forward from a third person point of view. So let's do it. that is a super quick and basic overview on how to operate one of these machines which is the standard forklift hopefully you found this video helpful hopefully you found this enjoyable do me a huge favor hit that subscribe button hit that like button and i will see you in the next video so stay tuned